hi guys today we will see the tutorial on uh, development of hexagonal pyramid in that problem statement a hexagonal pyramid side of base 30 mm and axis height 60 mm kept on hp on its base corner and one of the face is parallel to vp the it cut by an auxiliary inclined plane at 45 degree to hp and bisecting the axis so draw the development of pyramid so this is the problem statement of this hexagonal pyramid so as per this problem statement uh, we have to write given data so here in that given problem they have given that uh, the uh, side having the 30 mm dimension and the axis height is given the 60 mm so as for this problem statement, I will start to draw the hexagonal pyramid. If we will see the, this hexagonal pyramid in top view, so this hexagonal pyramid will be look like a, a hexagon. So that will be the exact hexagon. Because in that problem statement, they have given the hexagonal pyramid of side 30 mm and axis height is 60 mm. So as per problem statement, we can draw the hexagonal pyramid which is resting in hp on its one of the corner so first we have to see the where is where it is resting so that re, that is resting on one of its corner okay and next we have to see that after resting that it will cut an auxiliary inclined plane at 45 degree to axis and that axis will be bisecting so as per this problem statement i will start so first we have to say the where it is resting so that is resting on hp so i will start to draw the xy line of this okay so here the xy line of this will be here and now we have to draw the hexagon for drawing hexagon we have to see the dimension they have given the side dimension of 30 mm so we have to take 30 mm radius in compass and we have to draw the hexagon so i will take 30 mm radius in compass and i will complete the circle first Now after completing circle, I will start to draw hexagon. So I will take a horizontal dimension. So here, this will be two points. So here, with the help of protector or uh, with the help of compass, I will take the dimension of 30 mm in compass and I will start to mark arc. So here I will mark a 30 mm dimension on two sides of this corner here also i will mark that okay after that i will join these points corner now our hexagon is ready now i will join the corner to corner and i will find out the axis of this pyramid okay now i have find out that axis that is the o and i will give naming to this hexagon so i will start from here one this will be one two three four five six i will give numbering to base of this pyramid because that pyramid has only one the base okay so i will take the projection of all this uh, hexagon into a front view okay after taking that projection i will find out the axis i will transfer that axis on xy line 
and the axis height they have given the 60 mm so that 60 mm axis height i will mark and i will get the apex here after joining that now we have to join that apex with the base so this will be the first generator this will be the second now after that this will be the this is the axis naming also we have to give to so base this will be the one now projection of 2 and 6 will be here so this will be 2 6 a projection of o is here so this will be the o origin or apex next projection of 3 and 5 is here next projection of 4 is here so as for this problem statement i have drawn please a top view and front view now next step is they have given the auxiliary inclined plane is inclined at 45 degree to hp so that it says that that auxiliary inclined plane is inclined to hp by 45 degree angle but at the same time they have also told that the this axis is bisecting this axis is bisecting means that axis will be uh, divided into a two parts so the x that axis height they have given the 60 mm so they have given that axis height is 60 mm i will draw axis dimension also this will be the 60 mm and top view side top view side will be of 30 mm okay now next after that as per this auxiliary inclined plane we have to bisect this axis into two parts so now i have divided this um, axis into two parts of 30 30 now with the help of protector we have to divide this with the help of protector i have to divide this this will be the 45 degree because they have given the this uh, auxiliary inclined plane makes an angle of 45 degree to this axis <coughs> so as for requirement i have drawn this and then i have to join it so this will be the auxiliary inclined plane this is known as aip okay now next step is what we have to give naming to this auxiliary inclined plane now one number is intersecting here so this will be the p1 now next 2 and 6 is intersecting here so here we have to give naming p2 and p6 so now next is p3 and 5 is intersecting here so we have to give naming here p3 and p5 now next p4 is intersecting here so this will be the p4 now if we will see this when we will see this pyramid in top view so this all edges will be look into a dark so that is also important now if we will see this uh, two and three edges are here and behind this there will be a five and six number edge will be the overlapping or that will be the height by these two and three edges two and three number edges okay so now uh, as for the procedure we have to <coughs> take the parallel projection of this slant height of this pyramid so i will take here this now this will be the o apex and <coughs> next i will take all projections i will take all projections on that inclined line which is the parallel if we will see the that dimension of o4 is same as this transfer dimension okay is parallel next we have to transfer that p2 and p6 also now next we have to transfer p3 and p5 dimension also then we have to transfer p4 also okay so all dimension we have transferred but if i will uh, draw this here then what will happen this will be mix up with this problem statement or 
there is a less distance is there so what i will do i will take that dimension i will here and i will draw the sector here okay so i will take same dimension okay so origin is here same i have taken here but due to the space constraint i will take that dimension and i will rotate this arc so here i will get the sector now next step is what next step is i have to take that all dimensions which we have transferred here so i will take this first P4 so I will take P4 here next I will take P3 and P5 then this P3 and P5 next I will take P2 and P6 P2 and P6 next I will take P1 okay so all dimensions i have transferred here now what we have to do we have to develop these pyramids so i will develop this pyramid at the time we have to cut this from one number so i will cut with the help of that scissor or with the help of sharing machine so here if we we'll see we have to take that dimension in compass dimension of this one side so that dimension is 30 mm which is so I will I have taken that 30 mm in compass and I have to mark here on that sector. So this will be the development of first first phase. This will be the development of second phase. This will be the development of third phase. This will be development of fourth. This will be fifth. And this will be the sixth. So I have to increase the sector. okay after that we have to join this last point to first point okay so i will give naming to that sector one number this will be the two three four five six and again one because last point will be the join to first point so i will join that o2 next o3 O4 O5 O6 Then we have to join 1 to 2 with straight line because this hexagon has a side of straight line So 1 to 2 straight 2 to 3 also straight 3 to 4 straight line segment 4 to 5 5 to 6 and again 1 to 6 okay we are trying all these points now we have to transfer these also inclined plane points so I will rotate this again because we have to develop this auxiliary inclined plane also then next if we will see we have transferred that p1 point here so same i have projected here and we have developed this so here this will be the p1 point next p2 and p6 p2 and p6 that will be here on two number line this will be the p2 and here will be the p6 next here will be the p3 and p5 so p3 will be on three number generator line so 
this will be the p3 and this will be the p5 and p4 will be the here at center so after that we have to join all these points with dark line because our development is important p2 to p3 p3 to p4 p4 to p5 p5 to p6 p6 to p1 so this development is important so we have to do dark that development so that surface should be a that line should be a dark and this projection should be a faint so this will be the development of hexagonal pyramid okay so in that way we have to do a development of that hexagonal pyramid so this is the very easy method to draw the development of pyramid if you have any problem you can put in comment or you can contact me on my email id